，呃，我在做化疗的时候，真的很辛苦，因为没胃口吃，然后想吐，过了差不多两个月，头发就开始掉，然后我真的大哭了，我真的太伤心了。<笑> Unfortunately for this patient, he did not respond to the chemotherapy at all, and his disease progressed. And because he was so young, you know, there was a urgent need to think about new things that we could do. I really wanted to do whatever I could in my own research to give cancer patients and their families as much time together as possible. Oh, oh, I did. Probably four months later. 我我的声音就开始沙哑，然后越来越糟。我的父母还有我的亲戚听不清楚我讲什么。Before Donovan came to see Dr. Tan in early 2020, he had been diagnosed with stage four natural killer cell lymphoma, a rare and aggressive form of cancer of the lymphatic system. He had stage four disease, and typically we lose many patients uh, with uh, when the disease has spread for almost like six months. He he could not talk because the disease was affecting his voice box. And two rounds of chemotherapy failed to improve Donovan's condition. This disease afflicts typically older patients who are in the fifties, sixties. When I thought that he's so young, he has his whole life ahead of him, we should do whatever we can to salvage him from this situation. So that was when I decided to bus Dr. Anand. Scientists at the Yonglulin School of Medicine are working to revolutionize the way cancer is treated by using artificial intelligence to create bespoke treatments for patients. The ultimate goal of cancer treatment is to have truly individualized treatment. We are one of the few places in the world that's doing things like this. QPOP, a quadratic phenotypic optimization platform, is the AI-driven platform that Dave invented. By analyzing a small tissue sample from a patient, QPOP determines a drug cocktail that's most likely to kill the patient's cancer cells. First, a small piece of cancerous tissue sample is taken from the patient. Then, a set of twelve drugs are chosen. Have very long conversations and discussions with clinicians about what are the best drugs to include in our drug set, what are the possible treatment options that are available for that particular cancer type. Over half a million drug combinations are possible from this 12 drug set. The patient's cancer sample is incubated with 155 drug combinations for up to 72 hours. QPOP then ranks the different drug cocktails and identifies the most effective one for the patient. If it's really effective, then it'll be dark blue, and then if it's red, it's relatively less effective. So the more red it is, the less effective the drugs are at killing the cancer cells. In Donovan's case, we found that his tumor was very, very sensitive to a unique combination that had not been thought of for that patient. He thankfully had a good response to that combination. The disease melted away in the first few rounds of treatment. Daryl messaged me a, a, a video of his scan and said, "You won't believe it. This tumor has actually gone away with this treatment." Right before QPOP analysis, this was in September uh, 2020, and the column to the right, these are images after two cycles of treatment. This is where the tumor was sitting at his voice box. This、uh, resulted in him not being able to talk. But after two cycles, about six weeks apart, we see that the disease here has gone. The disease in the throat has gone, and、uh, the tumor at his voice box has also disappeared. And he started to regain his voice, and for the first time,、uh, he started to speak out、uh, loud. I think my body is better. I can talk to my friends. 还有家人出去走动走动，我的爸爸妈妈也很开心。Donovan lived cancer-free for 16 months. After the first QPOP treatment staved off the disease for 10 months, it came back, and new set of drugs highly ranked by the QPOP helped him beat the cancer a second time. Unfortunately, his disease、uh, relapsed again、uh, in June this year. It was a very aggressive. 
relapsed and he unfortunately succumbed to the disease on the 12th of July this year. He is truly a cancer warrior. He put up a good fight against a very deadly disease. He defied the odds. He beat the odds. He lived a very meaningful one and a half years, spent good time with his family. And most importantly, he has already paved the way for better treatments for patients uh, with this condition. When scientists come up with new drugs and treatments, the main goal is to potentially cure cancer. However, we know that cancer is very difficult to treat. So we hope to at least prolong survival time and make cancer patients' lives a little bit better. To Donovan and particularly to his parents uh, who put their trust in us, who came to our uh, center to participate in the study. We learned a lot from uh, his journey, uh, the fact that uh, twice his cancer was able to be treated because of this uh, technology and that uh, hopefully this, what he has gone through will help other people in the future as we learn to do this better over time.